It's local edition on Brad Pomerantz. Thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Cynthia Liu. Cynthia is the founder and CEO of the K12newsnetwork.com. What exactly is it, Cynthia? Well, uh, we think that there's a need for grassroots news, and that's from parents, educators, and students themselves. So we set out to make a website that would do that. And let's talk about the message of your organization, because you do have a point of view, which is fine, which is absolutely fine, and you're concerned about funding of public schools here in our great state of California. Explain what your concerns are. Well, um, as we know, the California budget is a annual crisis. And it we seems that way, at least for the last <laughs> five or six years. It used to be it was just a rite of passage, but now it's been very difficult. And with a lot of hair mm. pulling and mm -hmm. hand wringing. So uh, this particular year, we've come off of three different years of cuts to K-12 education. Very significant cuts. $18 billion in all. And so now we're looking at a funding cliff where the taxes, the revenue that had been supporting public education as well as other public um, employees of other kinds, mm -hmm. parks, et cetera, uh, we're, we're approaching a funding cliff where we're looking at over the edge of the cliff and if these revenues are not extended, then it's really a question as to what will happen And next. what you're talking about specifically in terms of revenues being extended is there were four taxes essentially that were uh, passed two years ago, uh, small increases to the VLF, income tax, sales tax. The governor had wanted voters to be allowed to vote to extend them in June, couldn't get the Republican support, so we won't have that initiative. Looks like the taxes will expire, and what does that mean? Well, as of June 30th, they're due to expire, and so that would really leave all of the schools in the state in a lurch. And we were really concerned about getting that message out there because I think a lot of people don't quite, aren't able to wrap their minds around millions of dollars. So What's, we made a tool. Right. And that, yeah, and you do have a map tool, which I <laughs> urge our viewers to look at. It's on your website, of course. Yes. Uh, but I do want to talk to you about uh, some recent good news. Uh, the governor recently released his May revise, and it indicated that there should be $6 billion more dollars coming in than they expected, and he plans to put $3, million, three billion of that, did I say $6 billion? $3 billion of that um, towards education. So is it looking rosier then? Well, I would say no, because it doesn't address the funding cliff. It might be good news for this year, and thank goodness we'd rather have the $6.6 .6 billion that's completely unanticipated mm -hmm. than not. But it doesn't address three years out, five years out, et cetera. So what is the answer? I mean, Californians simultaneously say to pollsters they want the best schools in the nation and they want their taxes cut. We know our per-pupil spending per capita is 47th out of 50. So where do you go as an advocate? Well, my message to everyone, and I think parents are waking up to this and the public is waking up to this, we hear on the one hand that we are the eighth largest economy in the world if we were our, were our own country, and we kind of think we are. Yeah, you're right, <laughs> and so does the rest of the country, but be that as it may. So here we are with incredible innovation, high-tech wealth, et cetera, the movie industry, so on and so forth, and yet we're 47th, as you point out, toward the bottom of per-pupil spend and there's a huge disconnect. So I think the entire state mm -hmm. has to step up and say, this is a problem that only all of us in the state can I fix. I want to ask you though, if we've reached a point where suburban parents, metaphorically speaking, have said, we're done. We're just gonna go to private schools. Forget it, it's over. I think the people who have done that probably have already done that, and I think there are just a lot of solidly middle-class people as well as upper middle-class people who really believe in the public school system and say, you know, um, again, people are polled and they say, what do you think about public ed? And everyone says, oh, crisis, drama, disaster. But then you ask them about their local public schools and they're like, you know, 88% say, I'm really happy. Or it I think it's pretty good. It's like, I hate Congress, I love my Congress. Exactly. Cynthia, I want to thank you so much for joining us and thank you for helping the children of the state of California. My name is Brad Palmer and thank you. Back to HLN. Soldiers haven't stormed beaches with this intensity since 1944. Support AmpSurf, rehabilitating amputee veterans through surfing.